Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Chaos here with another Minecraft video. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to set up the Dream Hunter vs. Speedrunner Manhunt. So, first of all, we're going to need to clear out a small space, not a whole lot. And then you're going to need to have cheats enabled for this so that you can do slash give your username or at p or anything like that command block and then to handle command blocks you have to go into creative mode just gonna get rid of this dirt um, so let me clear out a nice looking space right here there we go uh, one more one more layer just for fun it's not really necessary but all right so here's what we're gonna do so we're going to need two command blocks total, and this one is going to say execute at, like the actual word at, and then the name of your speedrunner, which in the instance of the match I'm about to play, I think will be me, but you can always change this later. Run, set world spawn, nope, not set block, set world spawn, and then you're going to push the tilde key three times and change that to repeat, change that to always active, boom. And now you can see in the chat here, this looks ugly. So what we're gonna do is slash game rule, uh, command block output, false, there we go. And so now as you can see, the chat is no longer being spammed from that point onward. And then finally, this one's a real simple one. You don't even really need a command block for it if you don't want, but we're just gonna do give at p compass. And then stick a little button on here. And I'm here, boys. All right. Where are you? Oh, there you right are. Here. Okay, so uh, let me change this to you, actually. So slash game mode created. That way I can hold it and demonstrate. So yeah, this is the name of the speed runner. So I'm going to change this to luminescent. And now Yay. if I give myself compass, Try to you'll running. see... Yeah, look, so right. as you can see, it is tracking him. So like, try I'm switching directions. Okay, I'm switching directions to the left. Yep, there you have it. So it tracks them in real time. Dude, because the world spawn is being set on that player, just go to a place near your command blocks and type slash spawn point at A. And now it'll override the world spawn and spawn everyone right here. So when a hunter dies, they can quickly grab a compass and be on their way. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends if they need help with something like this. I will catch you guys with the next one. Be sure to check out the video where I actually do this speedrun.